Welcome to my Cisco Routing and Switching Essentials Lab. This uh, video we're looking at Lab 4.1.4.5, Configuring and Verifying a Small Network. So let's go ahead, we're going to do Part 1. So let's go ahead and get to the RTA router. I'm going to the CLI. And essentially there is no it should be a blank configuration. So we're going to be doing things like the host name, the banner, uh, line password, and the encrypted password, and the appropriate IP addresses. So we need to get to our privilege exec mode. We need to get to our configuration mode. So configure terminal. No, nope, hope if I spell it right. Config terminal. All right. So first one is going to be host name. The command is hostname space the actual name. You'll notice immediately the prompt does change. So that means hostname space the name that then replaces it. Next, it will be a banner. So banner mo message of the day special character. Help us if I spell it right. No on off rise access. End with a special character, the same special character. So we've done that. Next, let's go ahead and set the encrypted password to class. So enable secret class that will enable uh, the password class but instead of doing password I did secret that will actually then have an encrypted password next we'll be doing our line password so line vty zero four password cisco line console zero no line con zero I cannot type L I N line password Cisco because it doesn't say what line just says line so I did both VTY and our console so that's taken care of. Let's move on to the next part, which will be our gigabit interfaces. So I'm going to exit back to my configuration. It should be interface. I'm going to be doing G0 slash 0 first. IP address. And since I'm doing gigabit 0, zero first, I'm just following the IP information on the chart. Make sure to turn it on to the no shutdown. I'm going to go back to my configuration and I'm going to navigate to gigabit 0 slash 1. I'm going to set the IP address there 10.10.20.1. Again, I'm just following the information off the chart. Do a no shutdown. And there you go. Here's where I got the IP and subnet information. So here is this part. Part B, let's save the configuration. In our exec mode, copy run start. That will save our configuration. So step one is done. Let's move on to step B. Using the address table, let's go ahead and set the appropriate IPs for PC1 and PC2. So PC1, desktop, IP address, 10, 10, 10, 10, with a subnet of 255, 255, 
Again, right there. Default gateway. The IP address of the router. Right there. I always close out and go back into it just to make sure. Let's configure PC2. IP configuration. Fill it the appropriate information in the chart. And fill out the appropriate router IP address right there. Close it back into it. All right, so we've done that part. And now let's go ahead and do troubleshooting between PC1 and PC2. So let's ping. 10, 10, 10, 10. So it's doing a broadcast right now, hence the request timeout for the first pass. But then you'll uh, notice the remaining th other three, the remaining three, went through. So we can ping back and forth. So step two is done. Let's go on to step three. So let's go ahead and get into switch one. Go to its CLI. Get to its configuration mode. All right, so we're gonna be doing the address table and we're gonna be setting the appropriate IP addresses for switch one. So, interface VLAN one. IP address 10, 10, 10 dot 2. All I did was follow that information right there. Just to make sure, let's turn it on, no shutdown. So we've done that part. Let's go and do the next one, which is setting the default gateway. Back in our configuration mode, to set the default gateway, we're doing IP default gateway. And we will set that to, again, the uh, IP address of the router right there. Now let's go ahead and save it. Copy, run, start. So we've done B and we've done C. So we can do the show commands to gather the appropriate information. So each of uh, the calling command and answer the appropriate questions. Show IP interface brief. We did that for the switch. Show interface. We'll actually show more detail because it'll show detail for every interface. Which that's way more detail than we need. So this is the detail for one interface. Is it down? Is it up? It's MAC address. All of its statistics. So you can use those commands to figure out those portions of information. What's really funny is they never have you set up switch two. All right, so let's go back to our router. I just want to make sure this part right here is set up correctly. So let's go ahead and do show run. Oh, 
I forgot a a line. So config t line a u x zero password Cisco. That way, all the lines have a password. Let's check our results. Oh, I forgot to do. I forgot to issue the command login. Which really funny because our instructions do not say that, but all right. I'm going to ignore that one right there. But default gateway addresses, all of that is complete. Just because that's going to bug me. Line console zero. Login. And let's recheck. Alright, so it wanted us to do login. Even though the instructions did not list that, the assessment items did have it. So you should be able to get 60 out of 16, and that's the end of this lab. Thank you.